What's up, guys? And welcome back. It's Sly Gittins. And since we're all quarantined, let's use this time to learn about the Microsoft 365 Fundamental Certification. By the end of this video, you will understand what is the Microsoft 365 Certification, who is the intended audience, where can you go to prepare for the exam, and what tools did I use to pass the certification. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Knowledge is king. Knowledge is king. The Microsoft 365 certification is Microsoft entry level certification for students or individuals like yourself who want to understand the basics of cloud services and how they interact with software as a service solutions such as Microsoft 365. Additionally, you will understand the benefits of applying the products and services within the Microsoft 365 suite and the benefits of implementing those in your environment. So it's, again, it's very foundational. It's just to test your basic understanding of the solution. But it's really great if you're trying to get into learning Microsoft. It's a really good fundamental certification that can help you gain entry into this field. Beginners who want to understand the basics of cloud services will definitely benefit from this certification. If you're a sales engineer, a sales representative, if you're a system engineer, cloud engineer, security engineer, Anyone who's going to be interacting with N360 products in their environment who are just curious to understand it will definitely benefit from taking the certification. Who won't benefit from this exam? If you have years of experience of M365, I wouldn't take this exam because I don't know how much benefit you will gain from it unless you just want the certification, then that'd be the only reason why I would take that exam if I was you. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is switch to my laptop so I can show you all the tools I use to ace the exam. So make sure to like and subscribe, let's go. The first resource I will share with you today is the exam landing page. You'll be able to find an overview of the exam. You can see if it has any prerequisites. You can see the, your dashboard of, of your completed certification that you have. You can schedule the exam. You can also take a look at the actual outline of the exam and what you need to know. So you can see here, you have to know, understand cloud concepts, understand core Microsoft 365 services and concepts, understand security compliance, privacy and trust in M365 understand M365 pricing and support. And if you open that link, it'll show you step-by-step step exactly of what you need to do to pass the exam. So the next thing it will show you is the training that you can take. You can take free training through Microsoft Fundamentals. This is great because Microsoft created this training. In my experience, it prepared me about 75% of the way. I also leveraged Pluralsight and a cool study blog that I'm going to share with you later in the video. But a few of my Microsoft associates, all they took was this training and they passed the certification. So this depends on how you learn. I felt like it wasn't enough for me to ace the exam. You can pay for some training if you prefer that. And also tell you like related certifications. It gives you different learning paths and a resource. This is a great pace to get started. So let's take a look at that that skill measures area, right? So when I prepare for this exam, I use this skill measure document as my checklist to understand what did I actually know, what areas could I skip because I had a great grasp of that already, or what areas I needed to spend a little bit more time sharpening to ensure that I know it, right? So this is a great place to get started so you can see an outline of the exam. So the next thing I wanna show you is the Microsoft Learn website. And this is where you can find that free tra training I spoke about prior, right? So the Microsoft 365 Fundamentals is designed to help you pass this certification, right? So it's gonna talk about what is uh, Microsoft 365, introduction to core services, introduction to Teamworks, introduction to the modern desktop. Find a whole bunch of stuff here that you can take, and the great thing about it, they have practice tests built inside each chapter. So you can learn 
where you're strong at and what areas you need to revisit. So it's a really good training. And like I said, for me, I use this in conjunction with the Pluralsight training that I'm about to show you. This Pluralsight training is more of a web-based training, whereas the Microsoft Learn is primary text-based and a little bit of videos in between. I like the way Vlad had a conversation throughout. He did a great job at actually presenting the information in a way that it was palatable for me to understand, right? So very digestible. These videos are excellent. Uh, what you can do is sign up for the first 30-day, I think it's a 30-day um, trial. It might be a seven-day trial, but you can watch it for free. I recommend having a Pluralsight subscription just because you can learn so much information in here. If you haven't watched my video where I talk about the benefits of your on Pluralsight, I make sure to take a look at the link above or take a look at the link in my catalog. So the next trainer I want to talk about or the resource I want to talk about is the Vlad Text Talk. This guy Vlad is awesome. He was an instructor for the Pluralsight training that I just spoke about and he also has his own blog with a lot of cool information and I found this to be pretty cool because he centralized a lot of the information you need to prepare for this exam. He shows you where to get the book from, the video trainings, he has the Microsoft training, the Pluralsight training, instructor-led training, different blogs. And What he did is he took that skills document that they had and put hyperlinks where you could go and learn it. One thing I will give you at the end of this, if you like, subscribe, and add me on LinkedIn, I create a document that has this all in one PDF that you can use to prepare for the exam. So if you want that cheat sheet, just make sure to like, subscribe, and then add me on LinkedIn. And when you do add me on LinkedIn, just say, hey, I'm looking for that PDF slide, send it to me, and I make sure to get that out to you. But if you do all three of these things that I showed you, you will pass the test and you will ace the test. And just to make sure you know that I actually passed this exam, you can take a look. I have the Azure Fundamental Certification and I have the um, M365 certification that we talked about today. And, um, and I will be taking next month the MS500, a um, little bit more senior certification. So wish me luck on that. All right, so you made it to the end of the video, but the fun doesn't stop here. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and also watch the other videos below and share it with your friends. Let's go. Until next time.